again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with yet another tutorial, tutorial number 67. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the XY wing and the Y wing, which really are the same. So, have a look at this. In, there are different forms of the XY wing and so on, but I'm going to show you different types. Here's one where you've got a rectangle, like so. And in this particular case, I'm going to show you what happens if you have a pivot. We'll call this the pivot, and this is a wing, and this is a wing. What happens to this one is part of the rectangle. Opposite this one, and opposite this one, is this. Here we go. Ready? If this is a 7, that becomes a 4. Let's make it into a 4 to help you. So that's a 7, this becomes a 4. Now, if this is an 8, this becomes a 4 as well. So, this is, if that's an 8, this becomes a 4 as well. Now, have a look at this 4 over here. It can see, remember this word see, it can see that 4 and it also can see that 4. And because of that, it cannot be a 4. We get rid of it. We eliminate it. We remove it. Another way of looking at it is this way. Let's say, just say that this was a 4. Then you know this can't be a 4. Let's say that this was a 4. Then you know that can't be a 4. In both cases, it can't be a 4. Simple as that. Fine. So that's the first example. Here's another example. Have a look at this now. Here's another one. We have a 5, 8, 5, 9, 8, 9, 7, 9. This also can be a pivot. And here are the wings of the Y, or X, whatever you can call it, an XY wing, or whatever you want to call it. It's an either a Y wing or an XY wing. Same thing. If this is a 5, this becomes a 9. Okay? So we'll change it to a 9. If this is an 8, this becomes a 9. If that becomes a 9, this 9 can see that 9 and that 9. That cannot be a 9, it becomes a 7. Similar to what we did last time. Call that, make that a 7. See, that's how it works. This is, again, it's in a rectangular form. It can come in different forms, but the principle is simply that in both cases, this is a 9, that 9, this 9 can see this one, and this 9 can see that one, it has to go. That's the next one. Ready for the next one? Coming up. In this case, we have, again, the, the pivot this is here. Now, if this is a 4, this becomes a 6. If this is a 9, that becomes a 6. It's one or the other. So, let's look at it this way. Either the 4 or a 9 means that you will have a 6 here, or it could be here. In any case, you can't have a 6 there. Here is a section of a puzzle. Uh, and I thought I'd show you another form of an XY or a Y wing. In this case, it's not a rectangle. In this case, it was what I call a crooked, like a dog's leg, a crooked 3x3. Three three. And the three numbers of the, uh, that I'm referring to are these, and I'm going to circle the cells so you can see what I'm talking about. This is a 2, 3, 8. There's your triplet, or your 3 by 3 And this becomes the pivot, because by using this as a pivot, we can get rid, we can remove 
a number. Now, here we go again, the same sort of wording. If this was a two, that two would go, and this two would go, which would make this an eight. If this was a three, that three would go, and this three would go, we're making this an eight. If in both cases, because that's an eight, that cannot be an eight. If this is an eight, that cannot be an eight. In both cases, whether it's a two or a three there, that cannot be an eight. So we can eliminate it, cross it out. Okay? Have a look at this one, slightly different again. In this particular case, it, I found it difficult to spot it. Now, let me talk about spotting. In, in an XY wing or a Y wing, spotting the pivot is a big challenge. I found it tough. So don't, if you're finding it tough, don't feel badly. Well, how do you spot it? You look for where there's only two numbers, little numbers, in a, in a cell. And then assuming that that is true, what happens here? Assuming that that is true, what happens here, and so on. If this is a 3, this becomes a 9, and therefore that cannot be a 9. Now if this is an 8, that 8 goes, this becomes a 9, and this still cannot be a 9. So in both cases, this cannot be a 9. So that's it in a nutshell. Thank you for, for subscribing. There's more interesting stuff coming. Hang in there. Have fun as you revise. Look at other um, of my videos. There's always something to learn. I'm always learning something too. Bye for now.